I'm going to show you how to get the rope gun in Sons of the Forest. So open up your GPS and you'll see the helicopter spawn on the map there. So you press the middle mouse wheel to zoom it all the way out. And this is generally the starting side of the island. So hopefully this looks familiar to you at all. So this cave that I'm at right now is the one that you're going to need to go to. So um, also, I would highly recommend a flashlight if you have one that still has batteries in it. Uh, because this cave is very difficult to navigate. So I'm just going to bust out a flashlight now. I have some batteries that I'm just going to use just so I can show you more easily. So you can actually see where I'm going. Because torches are just terrible, honestly, for trying to explore caves. They're really bad. Okay, so. Get through here. And things start off pretty nice. There's lots of free stuff here for you to pick up. And you're going to go through here. And there's a giant drop-off. So if you're using the torch, be careful not to die on this drop-off right here. There's a free rope here if you want it. And there's another free rope somewhere right over here. Anyway, you're going to go down here. And run all the way to the back side of this cave. Um, there is nothing over there. It's going to be a path over on the left side of this area somewhere so way back over here i think there's some free stuff right there yeah back over here okay so we're gonna head back into here and this one is a very long run and again without a flashlight it's gonna suck so go through here first thing you're gonna encounter is this except now i gotta kill all these guys that are chasing me maybe hold on so there's this guy on the ground this guy dead guy who has these time bombs on the ground. Okay. So with those guys dead, uh, so those time bombs that I just picked up, they're right there. They're going to be right here. You're going to equip them, and you're going to throw one at this giant thing on the wall. Hopefully, I got that close enough. Actually, you should throw it at the ground because it'll bounce off of them. Okay. So now that's dead, you can actually save the other time bomb. You don't need to use it. Uh, you can run through here now, push all this flesh out of the way, and head back through here. Also, be sure to bring meds because you might need them. I'm just going to go ahead and pop one right now just to make sure I can take a few more hits. Okay. So now we're going to go through here. And go up into this this room. Now, this is where the, f the first room with tons of enemies. There's a little bit of loot here for you if you want to pick it up. Uh, so, we're going to head left and then we're going to wrap around to the right. You'll know your right direction if there's all these hanging bodies. And now, we're going to go through it. You're going to want to manage your stamina as best as you can. But you don't want to be caught with no stamina with enemies right behind you. Okay. So, we're going to keep on kind of just hugging this left wall and just following this path. Watch out for the little little zombie babies okay so my battery is about to die it should just auto use the next battery if you're in the same situation as me once it actually dies just oh my gosh do i have to do it manually there we go okay well either way i was hugging the right wall and it led to this so now you're gonna go through here and there's this long like little uh, there's not really any water here. There's not a stream, but it feels like you're in one. You're just going to follow this little crevice that we're walking through. And then once we get to the end of this crevice, you're just going to see this, which is pretty obvious. I'm just trying to manage my stamina in case you're wondering why I'm turning around and stopping. Okay. Getting some full stamina before running through here. I'm going to run right past this guy. And... Over here, see some dead guys. Maybe some more loot. I don't remember. And then we're going to head up here. And then right here, I'm going to get some stamina back. So I got to jump over some of these little zombie babies. And we're going to head over here. And now there's even more guys hanging from their feet. I'm turning on to make sure nothing's behind me when I regen stam. Okay, we're going to keep moving. And then we're going to uh, head left right here. And then we're going to head up here to start to hear water at this point. We'll head over here to the left. Now there's a fork right here with two directions. You're going to want to go left towards these golden looking rocks. I'm going to regen stamina real fast because there's nothing to attack me. I always want to regen stamina when there's nothing to attack me. Okay, watch out for the zombie babies. You're going to creep through right here. 
I'm gonna regen some stam again and then keep going. And then head right and just hug the right wall right here as we go. Okay. Make sure nothing's gonna hit me while I regen some stamina again. Alright, we're gonna head towards this light and wrap around the right side of it. And then we're gonna head back into here. And there it is. I'm gonna pick it up. I'm also gonna be greedy and loot that. Now, you, you're supposed to use it here, but screw that. Just slide down. If you take damage, you take damage. Unless you're not being chased. If you actually killed all the enemies, then yeah, sure. Just go ahead and use the rope gun and get down. But if you're in a hurry, just, just slide down and take a little bit of damage. It's not worth, you know, getting hit by the open chest guy. All right. So now we're going to go up here. And up through here. And at the very end of this is the exit to the cave right here. And this will take you out to a place where you actually could get in from over here if you knew it existed. But the problem is you can't actually go back up. There's that giant drop off. So you can't actually go back up. So right now we're at uh, this location on the map. So right nearby. But again, this is a one way you can't go back in that way because there's a giant uh, drop off after the rope gun. Uh, so there you guys go again. That was um, that cave right there on the map and that was how to do it It's a really um, awful cave to go through on the harder difficulties But if you know where to go you can just run straight through it and get what you need to go get and then just slip out real fast So hopefully it helped you out guys Also if this video helped you check out the other check out the description of this video for other helpful sons of the forest videos And also if you want to help me return the favor and help me check out the game that i'm making on steam called art gallery simulator There's a link for that in the description of this video. But anyway guys, that's it for me Hopefully it helped you out now. You know how to get the rope gun in sons of the forest